Good morning, Brandy. Good morning. It's great to be here. It's so great having you here. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Talk to us about, I, I feel like the, the, the outdoors runs in my blood. I'm from the Adirondacks, so I, I have a great appreciation for the outdoors. But for people uh, on the fence about things, talk to us about the benefits of spending time outside on the trails. You know, when we get out on the trails, good things happen. Just being outside, you know, good things happen in our bodies, in our minds. It's so good for our physical and our mental health to be outdoors. I was just sharing with someone um, earlier that the idea of physical activity and how it helps our mental health mm. and reduces our stress. There are studies that show, you know, when we exercise inside, what happens to our mental health? And when we exercise outside, the stress benefits, actually you get better results um, when you're out exercising outside outside, just reinforcing how important it is to be kind of outside in nature to, you know, human beings, right? It's, it's where we come from. It is also just such an incredible opportunity to connect with our communities. We all spend so much time on our phones, zipping around, mm -hmm. trying to get to the places that we need to be and the errands that we have to run and the responsibilities in our day-to-day -day lives. And when we can switch some of that time out onto the trail, we notice things in our community. Maybe it's, you know, a new neighbor who's moved in and we get a chance to say hi or it's something, you know, a new shop or a new kind of asset in the community that we might not see when we're just kind of got our nose down and, and we're and we're zipping around all, all over the place. So it gives us a chance to slow down a little bit, to connect with each other and to get those physical and mental health benefits that um, are just so important to our well-being. Yeah, and we're so fortunate to live where we live in a place that's really put emphasis on outdoor spaces and places, whether it be parks and trails. Right. Talk to us about trails day I, i'm not i'm not familiar with this uh, apparently it's a day and it's just around the corner just around the corner on Saturday, April 27th, it's Celebrate Trails Day. And one of the reasons Rails to Trails Conservancy organizes this across the country is because we wanna be able to show off all of the different ways, all of the unique ways that trails are making a difference in people's lives. It, you know, there's some common threads. You know, we want to have spaces where we can safely be active outside. We wanna have those community connections. We want stronger economies and trails contribute to all of that. But how we do that looks different depending on where we live. So we want to have this moment to really show off all of the ways that trails are making a difference. And in Texas, you know, in Houston in particular, you all have just incredible green space, mm -hmm. incredible trails. And I have to say, one of the most popular trails in all of Texas is in West Houston. It's the Terry Hershey Park Hike and Bike Trail. We have an app called Trail Link where people can rate trails. They can use user, leave user reviews. They can get maps. And that Terry Hershey Park Hike and Bike Trail is one of the top in the entire state. So I would say on Celebrate Trails Day, make your way to the Terry Hershey Park Hike and Bike Trail. And if you haven't experienced it, find out what all the excitement is about. Yeah, you know, just get out there and explore. And I know a lot of folks are wondering like, well, how, how can I find out if this trail is appropriate for me based upon individual skill and level? Uh, one, I would say just get out there and, and, and go exploring, see what it's like. Is there a way though for folks, if they are really truly concerned about skill and level, they can check before going out? A hundred percent. And, you know, we hear from a lot of people that they're interested in getting out on the trail. They might not know, you know, what to do in that space. Is it the right space for them? Or a big question, you know, where does it go? <laughs> where am I going right. to end up? Yeah. So that's where that Trail Link app comes in, in handy. It's free from Rails to Trails Conservancy, and it gives you user reviews, ratings, information about surface type, um, you know, how uh, intensity levels, you know, is this a trail that's kind of a lower grade and kind of really accessible? to people of all ages and abilities. It's a little bit rougher terrain, maybe with some hills and things, and it's more mountain bike accessible, et cetera. So it gives you that information so you know before you go, which is really fundamental to kind of having a successful first trip if you haven't been out on the trail before, and then making it something that's part of your everyday life. Yeah, I love that. We went exploring last week the Columbia Trail. Uh, we've always gone south on the Columbia Trail and we decided to go north and we found all of these new little restaurants and bakeries where it led to. It, it was it was an adventure and it was so much fun. And that's the community connection piece, right? Yeah. If you were just driving around from point A to point B, you probably wouldn't have seen those businesses. You probably wouldn't have made those connections. And now you know they're there and, and hopefully you'll go back and yeah. spend a little money and, and support that small business community that's, that's emerging there. We so much appreciated having you on the show, Brandy. Thank you so much for stopping by.